Hello everyone, this is Nico Menko Photography and this is a trip video where we are taking pictures and having fun in the islands of Hawaii. Hawaii is a beautiful place and have 8 islands to go, so this video is going to be all about Kauai Island. So we are going on adventure together guys, so back it up. So welcome back guys to our another episode in Kauai Island and this video we're gonna show another part of our adventure and then okay, right there. down by the water. So you have just two rights. We're What's the name right. of the place? It's You'll see a sign that says Kayak Kauai. You'll see a sign that says Stand Up Paddleboard. So yes, just right hand turn, pass the light, cross the bridge, right hand turn. Okay. So two rights. I'll see you Thank just you like so two much. minutes down the road. I'll see you in a second. So here we are actually gonna go to a secret falls. Now this falls is really hard to get there. Uh, the only way to get there is through kayaking. Uh, you have many ways you can rent kayaking. We actually took a guide tour for getting this place. Uh, my wife is first time is actually taking kayaking trip. So in this video we're gonna show you how we actually get in there, the hike, um, how long it takes us, so it's pretty cool adventure and we see a lot of stuff on the way so you definitely recommend you to take this trip Get up to the big waterfall we can set up shop anywhere we want so set up shop highly 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 recommend everyone go swimming please after all of the traveling we've done to get here after all that kayaking we just did after all that hiking swimming in this pool it's gonna be so unbelievably refreshing <laughs> and not cold at all <laughs> refreshing okay <laughs> We made it! Sorry, sir. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's too much sun on my lens. So we're gonna take you to Jurassic Falls. This is the most beautiful falls in the whole island. The only way you can actually get there is through helicopter tour. And the only helicopter company that has license to land there is the island helicopters. So definitely recommend you guys to book with them. Now they're very strict about weight. So we actually have struggled to take some of the camera equipment we could take. So the GoPro 60 millimeter and I have my 24, 70 was attached on my camera with my R6 
so this is why I could go. It also limits you on what you can wear. You can only wear something black. It's because in helicopter, it's the glass very reflections. So with the black outfit, you won't get any reflections. So you can actually get very really nice shots from above the helicopter. And this shot is way better than you could do with your drones. And that's something I would definitely recommend you guys to do. Um, but definitely hearts when you have limitation on the gear that you can take with you on this tour but we actually managed to do it and also it's very reserved island that means when you actually landing on the poles do you actually have to wear specific socks it's really to protect the environment from special bacteria or disease you can actually transport to this area you have to understand how much Hawaiian really protect in this place it's actually incredible all right, guys, let's continue watching. So you guys saw the fall, it was an amazing place to come to visit. Unfortunately, I actually lost my sunglasses, the one you saw on the video. Uh, if you guys have been there and you find them, please let me know, because the helicopter tour never responds me back. And I would definitely have reward you for that, because they were my favorite sunglasses. After we landed at the airport, I decided to take some pictures nearby. I love this view, I find this beautiful lighthouse and I love this picture of the plane landing. I think I got a nice images there. Alright, to the next stop. After taking an amazing helicopter tour, we stopped by to watch this beautiful valley and we took a nice time lapse here. So enjoy watching this beautiful nature of Mumbai. So guys, this is our final day and we're gonna spend time a little bit here for us in the morning in the beach and you can see we have nice friends in the morning you can see sea lions here in Kauai Island uh, mostly guys be careful not to touch them it's really <coughs> bad for them you can actually hurt them uh, you can actually like distract from their families they only come to the beach just relax so please avoid any close contact with them and most locals really like protecting them also uh, there are cases that many sea lions being killed just because of tourists being touched on them So avoid touching them if you guys ever nearby sea lions But besides that we can take pictures of them. There's no problem with that So we decided to go take another dive and a 
coconut beach uh, make sure you go to our rocky place like we show you in the previous video you're gonna find a lot of sea life and also always keep your eye peel because you can find unexpected case hiding between those rocks So we decided to stay by in a coconut marketplace. It's a nice place to do some gift shopping if you're trying to find some more tours in Kappa City. Uh, we actually find a hula dance right there and it's actually free to watch. Last time if you saw our previous video, we actually paid for to see the hula dance. It was pretty expensive. Uh, well, this one is kind of free and you can enjoy the local community and the beautiful dance and the beautiful music of Hawaiian spirit. And don't forget to support the locals by buying the beautiful necklaces, the homemade. So this is Walua Falls and it's a beautiful falls. Now you don't have to hike to actually see it, we actually drive. So it was like 10 minutes from the airport. Uh, so it was not bad. You can guys come see at this place. It's magnificent. You can take beautiful pictures. So guys, definitely recommend you to see the turtles of Kauai Island. They're amazing, beautiful animals. They are very big size. Um, so you can actually swim with them during the day, but during the late night they come into the shore to the beach to rest to sleep after all day hunting searching for food so you guys can get an amazing pictures now during the night time it's super hard to get sharp images because it's very dark so i luckily have my tripod so i can put stability on my camera and capture some of the amazing moments of these beautiful animals now it's a little bit difficult if you guys don't have a tripod and you don't have a good gear equipment for that to get a nice sharp images. So I recommend you guys go early in the morning and capture the turtles and when you have a little bit more brighter hour. And highly, highly, highly recommend to take a tele lens so you can actually get them for long distance because you cannot get too close to them. They won't let you touch them or get closer just to protect those are beautiful animals. So you can see it's getting a little bit more darker and more of them keep coming to the shores. Before we only saw just one, now we see already four. Uh, but it's getting very dark so we may not be able to get any more images uh, wherever we try. Um, but definitely recommend you do it mostly in the morning. That's something we couldn't do because this is our last day of this trip. And we're gonna leave tonight, our flight leaving back to Chicago. So guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoy watching this video and you watch all the way to this end, please don't forget to subscribe and like my video so I can continue doing more videos like this. And you guys are amazing. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.